Good afternoon. Two lorries have crashed in Berkshire, which closed the M4 for several hours this morning. One of the vehicles hit the central reservation between Cheveley and Hungerford before colliding with the other. One of the drivers was taken to hospital. The road has now reopened. Well, investigations are continuing into a crash near Winchester in which a woman and a five-year-old boy were seriously injured. Two cars collided on the Otterbourne Road in Shawford yesterday afternoon. Officers are now appealing for witnesses. A private jet which crashed in Hampshire, killing three members of Osama bin Laden's family, was travelling 40% faster than the recommended speed. That's the findings of a new report into the incident near Blackbush Airport last year. The aircraft landed in a car auction site next to the runway. Now, passengers on Southern Rail can expect services to return to normal from midnight tonight. A three-day strike by the RMT union will come to an end then, but further walkouts are expected next week. The company has been at the High Court trying to stop further industrial action by members of drivers' union ASLEF, which is threatened to begin on the 13th. I blame the overarching um, rail company most of all, but I think I've started to lose sympathy with the strikers. Um, it's, it, it's, it's gone too far and the people that are losing their commuters, we pay, the, we pay the fares, we're not getting the service. Well, of course, you can keep up to date with what's happening with the strike and if one is happening next week on our website, itv.com forward slash Meridian. Ten of Swindon's libraries will no longer receive council funding from next August due to budget cuts. It will mean only five will remain. The council needs to save £48 million by 2020 due to the rising cost of care. Well, campaigners say the human costs will be as great as libraries are treasured public spaces. More volunteers are urgently needed to help the thousands of patients in Dorset who have dementia. The Royal Bournemouth and Christchurch Hospitals Trust currently has one dedicated volunteer, but says many more recruits are needed. Now, nine in ten primary schools in the Thames Valley have experienced head lice outbreaks. Now, one school in West Berkshire is running a knit buster weekend. Each child will be given a special pack aimed at finding and then treating the creatures. Time now to find out what the weather has in store. Here's Simon. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, you've probably already spotted that grey is the colour of the day, an awful lot of cloud on top of us. One or two bright spells if you're very lucky and odd spots of drizzle if you're a bit unlucky. But very mild temperatures, 13 degrees, which is way above average for this time of year. Normally it's around 7 or 8. Winds, well, nothing spectacular as we head into this evening. And we'll also see as well as that cloud cover some mist and murk developing, a bit of hill fog in places. Temperatures, though, staying up into double figures everywhere and it will make for a bit of a grey storm start to Friday. Now as we head through tomorrow nothing really changes. It will stay generally overcast. The mist will lift but the wind will start to strengthen into the afternoon. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. And don't forget the latest weather always on our website. The address again itv.com forward slash Meridian. And if you're free at six o'clock this evening do join Fred and Sangeeta. They'll be here with more of the day's news for you. But that is all from the lunchtime team for today. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye bye.